Hey guys, welcome back to GB Models. This is my F15E Stripe Eagle. <coughs> Excuse me. That um, I have recently done. Um, I'm not much into um, uh, planes, fighter planes, stuff like that, but I'm starting to get into them now as um, I, I, I quite enjoy doing them. So this is one that I yeah completed um, probably about ooh, about four months ago or something like that, and um, it's basically with these these guys I'm trying to learn about a bit more about um, uh, getting that uh, news look and um, weathering look. So this one I didn't weather at all, um, but it's it's quite a good model. This one is this one is. Big, big model. It's a 132 scale model, so a bit bigger than I anticipated. That's for sure. But um, yeah, let's um, get into a bit more, and just um, I'll show you a bit more of a closer look on this guy. Um, this is a Tamir model um, of the Strike Eagle, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed this one. So I gave this one probably. Uh, oh, probably uh, an 8 out of 10. I, I, I quite like doing this one. So let me give you a closer look and see, see if I can bring you up some parts, closer parts that um, a bit more detailed. Okay guys, I do have to apologise if um, this is a bit shaky. Here is the um, radar at the front. I decided to leave the um, nose cone open so you can have a look at that radar. Um, and it came up fairly well. I was quite happy with that. So moving right along, we have underneath here is all the... Um, I don't know, I'm not... Um, uh, Aeroplane... Uh, what's the word knowledge of it all but this is I'm going to, just going to call it the bells and whistles um, so that's that's all that done and it also comes which I haven't put it on yet is the um, steps for this this guy and as we scroll along here here we have the cockpit itself and I do hope uh, unfortunately there's not enough light in here to show all that um, all the uh, work that I've done inside so I do apologize for that but um, that's that's what it looks on the inside I did um, I'm sorry about that I did sort of like weather the seats a little bit um, I don't know if that's a good enough job or not but that's um, the way it is and that's that's the cover there um, and I particularly like this part here I like that a lot so I decided to leave that up um, and then because we've got the um, all the bombs underneath there and the so sort of like difficult I love those the color of those bombs um, I think the outside ones I think they're called sidewinders I think I oh, like I said I'm not that um, uh, knowledge on aircraft itself but um, but that's this is what it is and we're coming around the back here quite like the back there so yeah that's um, that's the majority of it like I said 8 out of 10 for this one I quite liked it a lot um I ended up didn't using didn't end up using airbrush for the main body on this. I just brought the um packs, the spray packs to do this one, but yeah, this this one was a good one. Um it's probably my second favorite one behind the um uh, my first one is the um Tomcat. So so that's that one so yeah hopefully you enjoyed looking at that one guys and yeah i'd love to um see your comments on this one down below if you if you could yeah i don't mind taking um 
criticism or you know could have done this that that better i don't mind but thanks for watching guys